Hi, this is Dave from Access. I'm here with Nath. Hello. And we, or you, Nath, are yeah, about to me. play the uh, first mission, first level on Crisis 3. I am, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, excited. I play Crisis 2, and I'm a fan of tight suits. <laughs> so I can confirm that you are. Exactly. So I'm... Yeah, the whole square to enter the game. Yeah, do so I want to watch this? You can first? watch this whole thing, but I think for for you know to Brevity. save time, let's just get on with it. They basically uh, Post find show. profit and they break him out of his little chamber, and it's here you are now. It's definitely profit, right? Definitely profit, and there's your old mate Psycho. Give me a gun. Okay. Who sounds? We go way back. Um, as ever with my games, I apologise for this. <laughs> no one is allowed to say anything. While oh wow, it's hidden right in there. Aim assistance not really what I was after. Player controls not really what I was after. General, I bet it's in general. General, you can speed this bit up if you like, Dave. I I could. There we go. There we go. And you're in. So up, down, left, right. <laughs> I am in. There's some really nice water on the lens effects in this. There are. I, where I, I, where I do you stand on water on the lens? It annoys some people. Um, I don't often find that water gets on my eyes. And drips down, but I am. That was a slide. Um, I'm currently wearing a visor, so I think in games with visors, I give it a pass. In in games where I uh, I'm just wearing eyes, um, I don't like it. There was a game where I was just wearing eyes. I think it might have been Aliens, actually, uh, where where I had they were, where they was dripping down the screen. Yeah. But you're watching it on a TV. I am watching it on a TV, but um, there's a sort of a clever joke in Wreck It Ralph. Dave, I don't know if you've seen that. I haven't yet. Where they go into a shooter, which is sort of um, a sci-fi space game crossed with Call of Duty, and the player is like a monitor that runs like he's on wheels inside the um, inside the game. And I guess if you th you know that kind of fiction, then yes, there would be drips down the screen. But I'm supposed to be a human, well, human suit man, suit nano man, a nano man. Oh, I can't make that work. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he going backwards? Because <laughs> he's having a chat. <laughs> Dude, what if he fell he over and alerted everyone? That, that looks wrong. He's really <laughs> he's really agile backwards. He should try running forwards. He might be really fast. Could be in the Olympics. Could be in the backwards Olympics. Have I got a better gun than this. No, it's just a handgun. Look, he's kept the good run gun for himself. Yeah. Selfish. Right, he's going to open the door here. I'm going to he... grab this. I'm just I just want to throw it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just playing about. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. That's someone's luggage. I know. And do you know gone. what? Psycho is the worst. It's not the guy you want to mess about with, is it? Psycho. No. Weapon customization. So you hold down select. I really like this interface. Um, barrel? Yeah, you want you want silencer. <laughs> and it's cool. as quick as that. I like that a lot. No, I didn't need to to, um, to screw it on. Psycho is... There he is. Oh, he's, he's a, a tricky one. So I think uh, he wants you to be deadly quiet in this first bit. So you're going to need to crouch and oh, get crouch. eventually get into your... Why? Camo, which is R2. Okay. Shall I do that now? Absolutely. And I think you'll see there's a little man who needs to be stealthily killed with the old stealth kill. Ooh. That's suitably nasty. I really like when you go into uh, the camo. There's a few more men in here, I think, that you need to um, take care of. Do you know, I'm not sure I like killing people anymore in games. Well, no, I do. That's, that's crazy talk. But low energy. Low gonna... energy. Look out. You're going to become visible. I know. I'm going to hide behind this box for just a second. So your energy is used way less when you, if you move slower. But, this, but I was thinking this, you cover less ground when you move slower, so it's I think probably, probably the same, the, isn't it? Uh, the, the economics of it still work. Oh, come on now. Oh. Uh, uh, He's got no idea. So I have to be standing up Ooh. to do a stealth kill. I seem to just pull that man's larynx out. Mm. He's not using it anymore. No, well, he's I suppose not. because you took it out. So yeah, exactly. He, well, he, he would have kept using it. Um, is that it for this room? I think? believe there there might be. The threat level is medium. Uh, one so further man. He's oh there he is. I see him. Do you know what this guy? He's up there. I've got him. I've clocked him. This guy deserves it. What what a poor guard. I say that a lot in these playthroughs. Actually, do you know what? Have that. Have, have a bit of that, mate. I mean, what was he actually guarding? I'll just guard this end of the room. I'll just walk up and down this bit. John, you're on explosive barrel. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. 
that silence that came in handy. That was that looked fun. He didn't notice the barrels being blown up downstairs. In fact, I'm going to switch to a, this machine gun because machine guns. Are, are you going to silence it? Can you silence it? Mm, no. Well, wait. Uh, select right. Yeah. Oh come on, Nath. This is why I'm not a real soldier. Yeah, I can. Nice. There you go. So, silenced. I'm infiltrating there. Whoa! I thought psycho, psycho was almost there. went. He would have been furious. He would have gone mental. Hmm. If only there was a nickname which some yeah. <laughs> kind of reaction he would have had. I like that he sounds like a sort of Cockney Snatch esque mentalist as well. Boy. Yeah. Psycho. Oh. Statham. That was a bit messy. Maybe Doesn't look very fit, does he, Psycho? I guess that's why he was lagging behind. Well he, he talks a bit later about how he um got got ripped out of his suit because he used to have a nice suit and apparently they're sort of uh, sewn in there and he, he got he got ripped out of his I wonder how he looks and they're probably all pink and sad and scarred like, a, like he got into a really hot bath All I want to do now is for him to stop talking and for me to fire this bow at somebody. The bow is pretty cool, right? He does a really good mm. job of uh, explaining just what the bow is all about as well. Why do I have to what? open the database? I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't want to read anything. I want to shoot people. If you want to uh, change arrow tips, you have to do it in the select menu as well, which okay. is maybe slightly slower than I might like. But there's so many different... like. Open the door? I'll open the door then. Shall I so he's I not, yeah, he's busy this time. Why is he even here? Um, that man is far away, and therefore, oh, he's dead. He's dead, Dave. Yeah. That's what he is. I think shooting at people far away is probably you don't want to go down the leg last week, you know, by rapid firing people right next to your face. That guy's also dead. I'm two for two. So you can get the the arrows back off them, because you only get a few. Okay. Sadly, you've only got seven left. All right. All right I'm going to shoot this guy and then get my arrow back off him. I'm going to shoot him in the armpit. Oh, you shot that... Um, mm, I did. I'm, well, that's why. I should have gone for the temple. Oh, that's nasty. That's, that's what I've done this time. Your threat level's gone up. I reckon someone's spotted a dead body. Okay. I'm going to crouch. Oh, dear. Oh, he's gone red. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, just being shooting this. Shoot there him. he is. You shouldn't have done that. That was nice arrow work. You shouldn't have ordered to have done that. Um, I'm going to go down the... No, energy. I'm moving too fast. Psycho's gone weapons free over here. You know, it's almost as good as arrows, this big gun. Yeah. They're like lots of little arrows that that go faster. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah, metal, so me me small little explosive little ones. Oh, yeah. there's an explosive rubber behind me. So, um, I have now gone um, loud, or some might call it clumsy and bad at the game, but yes. the, uh, it does help to illustrate the fact that the game is about, and it is one of the few games which is still really about quite hard choices in combat and quite rigid ways of playing the game so uh, you know completely stealthing through ghosting through or um, or using you know armor and going low which reminds me I should probably use my armor which is on L2 unless things have changed dramatically yeah, L2 is right. um, and the reason it's different to you know other games which do this kind of thing is because not with that man running up the stairs with his bottom to me but it is really it's quite hard even on normal difficulty you have to if you go, go in playing it like a normal game and they say this to you like every time you play any game if you play our game like a normal shooter things are going to end badly for you and then you you know you just shoot everyone in the face and run through and it's brilliant but if you did that on this game you really will die am I right in thinking that you played um, at an event and died yeah I, I think that's very true I played um, a little bit further on so when you actually get into the uh, into the dome into the city I played about 15 minutes and I like to think that I'm quite good at shooters you might you might think differently uh, yeah, uh, yeah. and um, but I like to yeah so I, I like to think I'm alright so I thought I'll just go with a uh, I'll go with the Ooh. second hardest difficulty mm. and um, it was an experience they can they have really the the cell operatives it was still against the cell, the cell are really tuned into where you are and you have to make use of all your abilities um, really take your time I'm going to crouch because Psycho is crouching yeah exactly and, uh, and it's like you know I think it's probably the, the way that I've played Crisis 2 and the way that most people play this is you will go be quiet 
up to the point where you can't and you're not anymore and then you'll go mad and just you know yeah uh, you might use stealth then to run across firing alleys and stuff and then use armor but basically you're not going to be too stressed about it some people will obviously play it and really want to only you know never be seen and you can totally do that as well and there are there is quite an open approach to hang targets with a visor it's quite an open approach to um, I'm going to have to think yeah so I quite like this mechanic. You have to uh, press square when that little yellow dude gets in the box. Okay. The timing is. It's a rhythm than... game. It is a little rhythm game. And so um, you can hack other things. You can hack uh, like turrets and stuff, um, which is nice. I'm going to download some intel. I don't yeah, know why sure. I'm do that. Um, yeah, you can. I mean, not not in this area, but the, the, certainly in the last game, there were. I seen that we we have seen there was a big open area in, inside that kind of factory behind us. Where it is sort of you know miniature playgrounds, a sandpit if you will. Mm. Um, I guess that's why they call them sandbox games. But the whole point about this and in the old days, Far Cry was you know here, here's a bunch of things, here are a bunch of skills. We will try and make it so that you can play any way that you want within this system and it won't break. Uh, which is something that Far Cry Three has probably gone away from a little bit, but um, Crisis Three still does. So Psycho is um, going a bit psycho here. It's very angry. Apparently that is... Uh, I think that's a picture of him getting ripped out of his suit. Mm. Uh, he's, he's a bit sad about it because it hurt, hurt a bit. Um, sad memories. Yeah. It's like having the world's biggest plaster ripped off, you know, all at once. And how would you go with that? Quick or... What kind of a plaster? Can you, can you do quick if it's an all-over body plaster? It's going to tear every... Piece of hair. All off, those off hairs. Every one. I can never do the quick plaster technique. I'm always a slow plaster man. It's difficult to do it for yourself, isn't it? Yeah, it is difficult to do it for yourself. Okay, so we're going to go into a slightly different thing here now. If you just pause a minute, okay. you can impress up. I like this on your. Uh, you, so you can yeah, mark yeah, yeah, all okay. your targets, which yeah, is yeah. really, really cool. Uh, so you can uh, you can sort of see them all already. Wow. That's just uh, nano. And I mark them with. Uh, if you just look at them, each of those little white triangles will go red, and that will keep them. That is nice. And I've got to kill all these people. So this is what I was talking about the open approach. So you sort of you know you mark where they all are. You walk around. They're always on your HUD, and um, you slowly walk through and kill everyone. You're still in the old vision mode there. You just okay. press up, and then you get all your stuff back. Okay. And, oh, uh, you've been good spotted work. really quickly. Well, that's because I was just standing there. But that guy's dead. Now. He is, he is. He's so dead. So that's what happens when you spot me. They're going to send... But the thing is, you do still have all your tricks. So although they know you're about, they don't know exactly where you are. I did the same thing earlier. Well, a bit, slightly better. And um, you can right still make your way line. through there because they're going to get a helicopter on you now. Uh, Dave, why can I grab my arrow back? Can I get my arrow? Oh, oh he just automatically up. does yeah, it. Cool, okay. I'm going to hide here. So there's the helicopter, you should want to look out for that. Yeah, I do. This is the good thing, though, because it is that there is a blend of uh, stealth and action, because when it does go wrong, he can handle himself. My armor is currently profit. on. My armor is on. So where am I going? Over here. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Shoot, Shoot all the barrels, that's my advice. You're relying on the AI to be standing next to them. I'm sad that I've not done this better. Oh, it's not the easiest. Um, wow, I feel like I'm in trouble now. I feel like I really needed to have killed that man. Yeah, that, that, yeah. there we go. Oh wow, ouch, man. Well, that's the first 15 minutes of Crisis, <laughs> Crisis Three, which wasn't brilliant. We'll do we'll do this mission. We'll do a couple of other missions. Good. Yeah. We'll let, let's go away and play them, and then. But I think we've. Um, you know, we've shown people the beginning of the game. Yeah, these but aren't ideal situations for your first ever go. No, they're, no, they're not. No. No. <laughs> no, normally Honest. I'd play it five times and then pretend it was my first maybe game. with sound so, yeah, yeah maybe yeah so thanks for watching uh, we'll have more Crisis 3 soon um, and that was me and Dave